like, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey, look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. Yeah, maybe, but who's the rose for? Oh, wow. Don't we look now, nice? I'll grab the USB stick. USB stick. All right. Which should be by the laptop, I would assume, but I don't see it. We had Chinese takeout? Hell yeah. Alright. Hi everybody, my name's Austin Nova, and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colors. I've got butter hair, like literally I've got butter hair. Like I have she butter in my hair. And so it feels a little bit weird. Anyway, ah, USB. Take. So who are we getting a rose for? Steph? Okay. Ryan. Time to head downstairs. Hold on, let me check my phone. I'm sure we have... Yes, much. Thank you. Are you joining us this evening, dear? Yes, this is one party I'm willing to brave. Ha, huh. we'll make it as painless as possible. Aw, Eleanor. Wink. Um, Steph and Ryan, what's new? Ryan, holy shit! Ryan, Steph and I want to hear everything. We're at the stage. Meet us when you're ready. I'm ready. Oh, it's only a few days past my birthday. No spoilers, but Thanor finds a gate to the underworld and fights the king of demons. Oh snap, that exact, that actually seems like a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page, lol. Sweet, what's happening in this issue? Kinda read that backwards, but it's okay. My block. I am n- Alright, well, do I have anything new in my journal? Nope, I don't, but I'm sure we will later on. Anyway, camera's still good? Yep, camera's still good. Still recording my handsome mug. You guys better have agreed with that. I need it, okay. Pretty. Very pretty. Test, test. Check, check. 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 Holy shit, you own a skirt? Nice ass shot. Didn't think we needed that. Hey, or maybe we guys. did. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I need to apologize to you guys. What happened in the apartment, something really messed me up. Hearing Gabe helping Charlotte. Why would helping Charlotte mess you up? Oh. Ooh, well. Helping Charlotte, let, yeah, let's tell, I mean, they already know about our ability, so maybe should let them know about that. These past few weeks, I thought I had a handle on my emotions. But after what happened with Charlotte, the same old story. I lose control, and I hurt the people I care about. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fuck that. If anyone needs to apologize, it's me. Ever since we've met, you've been there for me. And then when you're the one struggling, I bail. Not cool. I'm really sorry. I guess we're both sorry. I owe you a trophy. I guess we're both sorry. Ryan has nothing to say. He's like, I haven't been doing anything. Sorry, well. does that just cancel everything out? I think so. 
<laughs> they parried. We're back to normal. Yep, back to normal. We're back to not being sorry. Not to spoil the moment, but Typhon blew up their own mind. Why? I don't know yet. But we have all the evidence we need to nail them for Gabe's death. I got a hold Do of we? Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Why do I have to be front and center? Uh, need help setting up? I know oh, who's playing. Rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't What's make that supposed any to mean? promises. Text me when it's ready. So apparently Steph is from the first game. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. I'll need to go back anyway, and... Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Yeah, I guess so. 2.32. I'll need to go back, though, to the first game. 2.34. What are you doing? Counting the jelly bean? No. The red one was 2.34. Wait. <sighs> Damn this it. game is so demoralizing. <sighs> Why do I do this One, to myself? Two, hmm. three. Maybe I can help him somehow. Hmm. How would we do that? This is impossible, right? I mean, not impossible. You just have to guess the number. Or the person closest to the guess number wins. Ah, what are you happy about? You don't another look happy. Here, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, jelly bean lady. That's not right. No, it's not. What are we going to do about that? Are we going to take this bottle of whiskey and bash it over her head? That wouldn't be very nice. Tub of beer. Can I we grab a drink? This thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Well, I know we're old enough, so. But are you guys old enough? No underage drinking. Bad. Wow. This is a beautiful model. It is. I'm enjoying this. It happened last year. Yep. I it's been a hell of a month. Day. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's in Excuse me. Damn it. I don't mean Probably to keep cutting it out. PM. But yeah, I can see why he loves this town so much. I love this community. I love how everyone is like local and like family now. together. Everyone's close. Everyone knows each other. It. Where's the after party this Good, year? bad, the ugly. After That's when you party. truly know people. Come on. Young man like yourself. God. You must know I what just the hope Riley is. is doing all right. Oh, Honestly, no. I'm getting pretty bushed. What happened to Riley? Call under the night soon. New dialogue right. unlocked. Goodness. Oh. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. Where's Riley? Hey, so where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. She's not really in the festive spirit. She was supposed to leave town tonight. If it wasn't for, you know. Mac? Oh, I'm sorry. You were so helpful to me that day at the shop. If you see Riley, maybe you could help her too. Sure. I'll try my best. Was she even, in, even here? Lots of work, huh? We drink later? So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? I knew Eleanor was badass. Hell Just yeah. Kidding. Oh, no, you're not Eleanor. I know, I know you. Or am I? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. We've got a kick-ass senior over here. Lots of work, huh? The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. I better get going. Well, it was good talking to you, Eleanor. Enjoy but we're still up for those body shots, right? Me too. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. I guess I can't so. talk to Jed. That's okay. 
Festival spread. Mmm, yummy. Bad. My bad. No. There's no graceful way to sample everything on this table. Is there? Well, it looks like someone's already been sampling it, so why not? Black Lantern. Oh, Mr. Lantern. I love what you've done with your bar. Alex, you know that's a lantern, right? You, no need to talk to it. <laughs> the random cutouts. Ice Ludge. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery system. Hey, but that's cool, though. Hey, Steph, what are you doing? Um. Hey, Steph. <laughs> All right, well you all right, well you keep dancing, Steph. Steph kind of looks like Lauren Cohan, like her face does. Apple bobbing. Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. I guess Oh, we're going to take this around. Random ATV parked at a festival with a bunch of drunk people. What could go wrong? I don't know, maybe we should steal it, or not, we should borrow it and, you know, drive off off in the night up the mountains and go stargazing, you know. That sounds fun, right? Four-wheelers are fun, though. Super fun. I played hide-and-seek with four-wheelers. Haven really parties at this festival, huh? Yeah, wow. Yeah, I played hide-and-seek with four-wheelers with, uh, with a buddy of mine, we're out at his parents' house, and they have a huge, they have like huge fields and forests in the back, in the out in the country, and we took two four wheelers and played hide and seek. It was a lot of fun. Anyway, hi Mac I and Cheese. I mean Mac. Why are you standing over here, all I don't gloomy? Want to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down. The whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. And if I want to keep Riley, I can't be broke. You can do better. You can do better, yeah. Come on, Mac. Even you're too good to work for them. <laughs> it's always flattering to see how much you care about me. I don't know. You know I'm spoken for, right? Ugh. There's the Mac I know. <laughs> uh. You almost had me there, Mac. Don't check out my ass. Take I know that's easy, what you were dude. doing. Yeah. You I know too. it. Whatever. Anyway. I'm Mac. The radio station broadcast live from the park. What are you happy right? about? It almost this makes me feel like a tiny is Coachella. Is awesome. <laughs> Super Favorite tiny. time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. Yeah. yeah. That is an awesome new. fire pit. It's an awesome bonfire. I love bonfires. For like I just love everything about this. Can I just sit down and enjoy this? Hey, don't mind me. Continue your conversation. Just let me enjoy this fire. All nice and warm. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Ah, uh, nice. But I, I, what I was saying earlier before... Yep. I get it. Before Mac kind of... All right, well that was nice. Anyway, what I was saying about Mac is uh, he's kind of grown on me a little bit. What the hell? No, I wasn't looking at this. Why did this come up? Why did that come up? There was no reason Sounds for that. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. Oh, may okay. Head back. Never mind. He messaged. I didn't know that. Hey, the black beast. That's cute. Roar. Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? So cute. Wow, you look awesome, Val. Uh, 
Although the crown jewel of Audley's traveling circus was known as the Black Beast, likely a melanistic color variant of Panthera, uh, Anka witness accounts, however, defy the traditional understanding of the species given its usually large size, unusually large size, and unnatural longevity. The Black Beast was scheduled to appear at a show in Haven Springs on July 27, 1944. That night, an incident during the performance allowed the Black Beast to escape into the mountain wilds, killing several performers in the process. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nowadays, hikers, hunters, and the adventurers at heart still report sightings of a large shadow stalking the mountainsides of Haven Springs. Like a shadow in the night. Anyway. Okay, back to Mac, which I have not finished talking about. He's kind of grown on me a little bit. I mean, it, Max is still has his charm, but he seems like a pretty decent guy, but it would really suck. It would really suck if like, it was all just an act. I really hope that's not. But I feel like he's just like Prescott. Uh, like, what's his name? Nathan Nathan from the first game for those of you who know of the first game I would assume so if you're here anyway anxious girl what are you anxious about was I supposed to give him a hug does he think that I think it's not a date if this is a date it's a really silent one yeah, that's a really awkward one maybe I should sit in between you guys and just break this silence shit up what are you anxious about, boy? Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Aw, look at the hang of this one day, or not. Probably not. No, they don't seem to be getting it at all. They just seem to be making each other uncomfortable individually. I mean, one of you eventually has got to make the move. And you just got to see what happens. This is what life is. Things don't just come to you. On very rare lucky occasions maybe but usually you got to put in the effort for just about anything hello diane what did you send me before i check on ryan two-faced bitch hi alex wanted to wish you a wonderful first spring festival unfortunately i have to work through it, it this year but i really appreciate it appreciated our conversation earlier today it was great getting to know you better thanks diane the feeling is mutual yeah so mutual <laughs> two-faced bitch yeah, I doubt it. Probably more cover-up on all the dirt that we dug up on Typhon. Hey! Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait. Who else? Steph. Come on, Alex, you know. Who else is playing? <laughs> I hate you both. We didn't even rehearse. We didn't want you to wuss out. Uh, but Mac's good about it. Or Mac. Whoa, sorry, I am so sorry. Alex, I am so sorry. Alex is good about it. Alex is still like, I'll do it. I don't want to, but I'll do it. I wouldn't wuss out. Who said anything about wussing out? Nobody, <laughs> but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. Fair enough. This is gonna be awesome, trust me. Hey, but that's what makes things fun, is doing things you don't know what the hell's gonna happen. You don't know how... Um... We've never played together before, and... Uh... We're gonna... Rock it. Anyway... Sorry if this sucks. Sorry, not sorry. It's all about having fun. That's what music is all about. Just everyone coming together. Okay. Hell yeah.
strung out on my eyes a kite and I just might stop to check you out let me go Very folksy and warming. That was pretty damn good for two people, for people who didn't rehearse and just got thrown into it. That's pretty damn good. Alex has a really good voice too. Really pretty voice. Hi, Charlotte. Oh. Oh, I broke Charlotte. I feel so bad. That was the wrong choice. Hey, Charlotte. How deep do you think? The lake, I mean. I don't know. I felt horrible this afternoon. I didn't know if I could survive that feeling. But now... It's like when your leg falls asleep. And even though it's still attached, it's become something other than you. My whole life, I've always felt so deeply. But maybe this is better? Wouldn't call it better. This might be good. No, no, I do not think this is good at all. I am Charlotte, sorry, Charlotte. I'm so sorry. Sorry for what? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Mm. Me neither. Good to see you, Alex. Have fun at the festival. Why are these coming up? Thanks, you were pretty- oh. Award-winning bar material- oh, I already- okay. Aw, oh, shucks. Hey, come here- oh, come meet me on the rooftop. Sure thing. Sorry, guys, it's- it's hard for me to figure out where the conversation starts. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Hmm. What are we gonna- have a little private show of playing a- or a little private session up on the rooftop? Alright, I'm coming! On the way! Hmm. It's so weird because things are like kind of moving on, but oh, dirty dishes! I should probably clean those up. Ugh. Not tonight. Yeah, you're right. Not tonight. We're not working tonight. We're out having a good time. And that's the weird thing is I'm used to only playing the first game. I'm used to each chapter getting more and more dark. Like, throughout the entire entirety of the chapters. Makes me nervous. Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> this sucks. It does suck. But it, that doesn't matter right now. Right now, I'm happy for you. Aw. Holy shit, Steph. That's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. 
I need a new destination. You're my good luck charm. What are you doing? Gonna you pack me up in a suitcase? Taste and good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Pick one. Oh, I'm picking one. Places to go. Berlin, Salem, Massachusetts, which you were here. Greetings from the middle of the ocean. The middle of the ocean. Hmm. Massachusetts sounds nice. I have a f uh, friend who's from Massachusetts, so how about Salem? Plus, that sounds kind of like your alley, too. Salem. Halloween capital of the world. Or so they say. <laughs> Who do I hang out with? Witches. Ma mass holes. Mass holes. <laughs> Witches. Witches. Hell yeah. You join a coven. A lesbian coven. Is there any other kind? <laughs> you hang out in graveyards and perform rituals to speak to the dead. None of which ever work, but that's okay. Because I get a load of old tombstone rubbings to decorate my apartment with. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. Oh, that's big of you to Just ask. Salem? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there, or I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you. But I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Aww. Hug or a kiss? Hmm. I don't know. What should we do, guys? What should we do? Should we... make a circle or should we make an X? Hmm. Ah, fuck it. Let's... let's kiss. Why not? Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. <laughs> Aww. Well, I made the right choice. So cute. BAM! Explosion of joy and happiness! Now hopefully we could share it with the rest of the world and make the world a better goddamn place. And my god, that was pretty. The sky. You don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just... Think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later. Okay. So cute. So sweet. You know, what are you doing with that USB? Oh, I thought she was gonna toss it. Hey, Gabe. 
Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull, which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Also, I kissed Steph, so that happened. Alright, well, I'm... it's supposed to be a, a good night, not a sad one. Can we just enjoy this night? Because I have a feeling things are going to be bad soon. I mean, we still got another chapter after this one. And, and I'm nervous. I am really nervous, guys. Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Don't like that. Alex? Don't make this hard. I, I knew it. You kidding me? Are you arresting me? Are you on their fucking payroll? Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Shut up. Not exactly. Coffee? Already got one. But, you know, more would always be great, yes. Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. You asshole! Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. Really? It's a... Uh, how would she even know that I took it? She didn't even see me take it. But you guys know that I have the USB. That's bullshit. I better call Saul. That's bullshit. I haven't done anything wrong. They're the criminals here. Did you steal this USB drive or not? I found it. At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. Uh, why not? Well, I know why you can't, but you need to. You're conducting an investigation into Typhon, right? Everything you've been looking for is on that drive. And for all you know, that might not be her drive. Despite my best efforts, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. Well, like I said, you don't know that that's Diane's drive. You just assume it is. That could be my drive with information on Diane. You could just accidentally look into the drive, but whatever. I have evidence. I have the evidence. Right here. Yeah, Diane's not it here. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Look. What happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That 
could be true. It is true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that. I get the point. Shouldn't matter. I get... Ugh. Mm. Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Well, it should be, because they have plenty of Alex, money. You're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. Billy. Fuck Diane. <laughs> no way. Fuck Diane. <laughs> you know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. Uh. That is it's stupid. Not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. But you said she just wanted to press charges, so how is she wanting to let it go, really? We just stir in the pot. Need to drop everything. Typhon won't press any charges. Why the deal? Doesn't this mean she's guilty? Why the deal? Yeah. Why would she do that? She just wants this whole thing to go away. This yeah. is how to make that happen. <laughs> this whole thing Fuck to go that. away. I'm not signing anything. Hell yeah, Alex, we're not. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Hmm. What are you hiding, Pike? You seem a little bit... Like I said, it doesn't matter. Worried. Alex, please, just sign the form, and we can both go back to the party. No. Yeah, Alex, no. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. You look like Leon who ate too many donuts. What are you so scared of? Yeah, what are you so scared of? See for yourself. Hmm. Well, maybe I will, but I want to read you first. What could be in that envelope? I don't know. Let's check out Mr. Pike over here first, because... Alex, please. I don't want you to get hurt. Then help me, damn it. Yeah, help me. Why are you not helping? Hmm. Typhon, mining, security, threat, evaluation, subject, chin, Alexandra, brother, anti-Typhon sentiment, brother, Gabriel Chin, died in an accident related to the Typhon mining blast assessment. Intel shows subject has a high level of determination and uh, efficacy. Uh, negative effectation was persisted beyond predicted bereavement period. Uh, suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and information. Uh, investigation summary May 1st began following subject after meeting with Mac Luden. Subject met with man identified as Ryan Lucan. Little else of note. Hmm. Subject spent three hours in an apartment. Wi-Fi screen monitoring revealed searches into Typhon's history and legal litigation records. Private investigation services. They hired private private investigation services to investigate me. Subject met and spoke with client in the Black Lantern. It appears subject has stolen an object from client. Luke Ryan, close friend Gabriel Chin, died in an accident related to Typhon mining blast. Assisted Alexandria with her efforts against Typhon, involved in an extremely distraught over accident. Subject has high level knowledge of both geography and residents of Haven. 
And Stephanie, assisting in efforts, has proven resourceful and dangerous. Really? Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was just focused on getting the truth. The truth is that you have no idea what Typhon is capable of. Well, they're willing to blow Shit. up a mine with people around it, so kind of do. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. Do you really? I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. That is true. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? No. No, we can't. Because either way, it doesn't change that Gabe is gone. As much as Typhon sucks, risk taking Pike's fear, no. I've already tried taking someone else's emotion and it didn't pan out well, so I'm sticking, no, sticking with the other one, no. This one. Don't screw me over, Gabe. Yeah. <clears throat> X marks the spot. This isn't treasure hunting. Can't turn back now. Time to sign my soul away. Sign your soul to the devil for sure. All right. Hmm. Should I read this? Maybe I should read this. Fuck me. Typhon Mining Company, hereby referred to as the releaser, agrees to drop all charges against uh, Alexandra, hereby referred to as the releases, charges to be dropped, one, federal account, computer fraud under USC 1030, um, one, state count, theft under CRS 184401, in exchange, the release must seize and desist all efforts to defame surveil or otherwise harm the releaser whatever screw you is there anything else nope all right just sign away i guess there you happy now pike thank you alex you did the right thing uh-huh i didn't want to put Ryan and Steph at risk. Because like I said, it wouldn't have changed anything. Typhon will eventually fall. Whether it be at our terms or their terms. No matter how big they are. This means the harder they will fall. I know not to trust Diane's ass. Alex, come see me when you get the change. Or chance. <laughs> I said, <laughs> when you get the change. The spare change. Jed. Okay, Jed. Sure thing. I can't believe this. I had them. How did it go so wrong? Maybe it didn't. I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. Maybe. 
Maybe not. I feel like First, talking to someone would. I need would... to get out of this dress. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Getting something more comfy. Hold on, I'll take my phone in a minute. Get dressed. Let's see, what do we got? All right, I guess this is what we're well wearing. Go talk to Jed now. Hmm. Avon Springs, saber tooths. Awesome. Hell yeah, saber tooths are awesome. Just like me. All right. Journal. Steph and Joy. Steph is good at. Oh wait, did I? Did I already read this? No, I don't think I read this. Steph is good at hiding her feelings. Maybe it has something to do with her LARPing. Knowing how to wear a personality like a mask, but tonight I could tell that underneath the genuine excitement was a vein of anxiety. A tiny voice whispering, you have to deal with whatever comes after. She asked me to leave with her, to see the world with her, and all at once it occurred to me that the wide open sky above us would look just a little different from some other rooftop in some other place, and for a second I ached to see it. Little stages in little bars, a whole secret network of strangers waiting to be made less strange, even if for a night? Could I have have that? Do I deserve it? Cut the deck, pick a card. Maybe this is what I need. Someplace new, follow you. From Salem to the sea, they tore a wall down in Berlin. I could tear a wall down too. What if what I need is you? Back on the road, fucking finally. You're my good luck charm. Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. I wonder if you've thought about what you need. Sounds nice. I I thought I I thought life on the road would be be kind of exciting. I mean, rough, but I mean, exciting going to see different places, you know, and have some excitement adventure to it. Pike fear. There's the threat that keeps you awake at night. All vigilant and terrified, then there's the one you don't even know exists, so you sleep just fine. Guess which one is more likely to kill you? I thought I knew what Typhon was, but really I had no idea. Pike knew, and it terrified him. The horror of the witness. The paralyzed audience strapped in and made to watch the same inevitable choreography performed again and again and again. What have you seen, Pike? Before he gave before me, what secrets did you have to keep, and how long did you have to keep them? I thought of Charlotte, of what I'd done to her anger. I thought it would help, but God, she's been so off. I didn't think I could do that again to anyone else, so I signed his fucking release. I don't want you to get hurt. Keep your head down. Typhon doesn't lose. No isn't an option. Rat girl, keep your head down. The cats will always win. Pin in shaking fist. Cross your name off of their list. I can't go through this again. Oh, uh, yeah. Where my bard hat? Feels like the LARP was a hundred years ago. It was a little, a little bit longer than that. I'm sure. Several hundreds of years ago. Hi, Jed. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Take a shot. Typhon killed Gabe. Typhon threatened Ryan. Threatened Ryan? 
They killed Gabe. Yeah. Just take a shot. That's what I need. Typhon threatened Ryan. I've been chasing proof that Typhon was responsible for Gabe's death. And I found out they buried something. A secret. Now they're threatening me. And Steph. And Ryan. Threatened? How? Pike showed me photos. Typhon's been watching us. I signed something. Just to get them off of Steph and Ryan. I promised I wouldn't press charges against Typhon, but... I'm not giving up, Jed. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. What is it? Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. Really? Well, okay. There, up ahead. What could they be wanting to hide so badly, though? We? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Why are you showing me this, though, so easily? I don't like this. Chad. Why are you sad? Jed, come on. I'm sorry, kid. Put the gun down. Okay. Just put the gun down. I tried to talk you out of it, scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. By killing his friends? I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. No! Jed, what the hell, man? I liked Jed, no! No! That was a really short chapter! That wasn't even an hour! Holy crap! No! You've gotta be kidding me! 
Pike convinced Alex to sign Typhon's affidavit. Will Pike let Alex go after she removed his fear? 73% chose that one, but see... Well, uh, I guess Pike did convince me, but I don't know what the right or if there's really a right or wrong answer. I was just trying to look out for Ryan and Steph because they, you know, they're still here. Gabe's gone, so no matter what action I take, I mean, yes, he deserves justice. They all deserve justice, but I don't. You don't want to put everyone else at risk too, trying to get that justice. There's better ways to go about things, but uh, Alex didn't give anyone a rose. Well, crap, I didn't know that was a thing. Well, I mean, I knew you could give a rose. Well, I, no, I didn't. I didn't know that. Whatever. Alex had a nice moment by the bonfire. Sure did. Alex didn't sit on the couch. 73%. Why would you sit on the couch anyway? Took a minute to reflect before talking with Jed. Hmm. Uh, Steph and Alex mused about moving to Salem. Uh, Steph and Alex shared a kiss. Um, didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Huh. Ryan didn't meet Alex on the... Oh! Huh, well then I wonder what could have changed that for the option for it to be either Ryan or Steph. Ryan didn't meet Alex on the rooftop. Huh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Charlotte felt weirdly detached at the festival. Wow, that one's a split 50-50. Man. Alex didn't find Riley at the bus stop. Didn't know I could go to the bus stop. Alex didn't use her power with Ducky. Didn't know I could do that either. There's so much oper there's so many options and opportunities that I missed. Alex didn't help the jelly bean counter. Oh, well, I couldn't figure that one out. I wasn't wasn't clever or smart enough for it. Or I got distracted. Probably all the above. Uh, Alex didn't talk to the diner buyer. Didn't know there was a diner buyer. Alex didn't help them admit their feelings. Didn't know I could do that either. I just wasn't helpful at all. And uh, I got shot in the end. But why did it have to be Jed of all people? I'm assuming Alex is alive. She's a bullet just grazed her or something and she's just unconscious. She took a hell of a fall though, so I don't I don't know, but See, I knew things were going to get worse. I knew it could, and there's still another chapter left for things to get even more dark and I'm even more worried about that. And I really I really hope we don't lose anybody in the next chapter the, the final chapter but I have a bad feeling that might be a possibility oh but why did it have to be Jed why couldn't it have been Diane or something someone that I already don't like Diane whatever I don't know but I guess we'll find out how this all pans out in the next chapter so that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you around in the next video. Have a good one.